How you guys doing? This is James. This is Happy Conversation, where I talk about pop culture, society, and world topics so we can live in harmony through having a conversation now and in the future. Like and share this video right here. Subscribe to the channel because I talk about this stuff all the time. Now I want to talk about courage of conviction. Courage of conviction right now especially is very important. And the reference I want to use right now for this topic is Mitt Romney. And I'm going a little bit into Brent Jean. And I'll tell you why. Now, I'm going to read the definition or the meaning of courage of conviction. Listen. To have confidence to act or behave in accordance with one's beliefs or ideologies, especially in the face of resistance, criticism, or persecution. Now, what Mitt Romney did when he voted against President Trump he said in a speech that you can find online, I'll probably put it in my description below, is he had an he, he had an oath and an obligation to God which he took seriously. So by definition and by the essence of courage of conviction and his oath of office, he did that. He went with his oath and with his conscience and his conviction. And I want to bring up Brand Jean now. Brent Jean had the same thing when Amanda Geiger got convicted of murder. He said that, I hope you find God and I forgive you right now for what you did because that's the same thing my brother would have wanted. And the judge even gave a Bible to, the, uh, to, to Amanda Geiger when she uh, convicted her and she read some passages. Both these people... Uh, uh, the judge and Brent Jean did something with the courage of conviction that hasn't been done before and people persecuted them and resisted when it happened especially people of color why are you gonna do that she don't care about you and if that had been a, a, a white guy here to get thrown in jail and all or they just made all types of things up now with Mitt Romney like I said, he did the same thing. He's even said why he did that. Because why would you as a senator go behind closed doors and say he's unfit and reckless? That's And then you voted to keep him in or you voted to acquit him. That's not having the courage of your convictions. Because as they say, what happens in a marriage behind closed doors is none of our business. Well, senators are married to the American people. You got married to us when we voted you in the office. So you have an obligation to us to do the right thing. The things that we can't see. The things that we don't understand. That was what your vote was for. So why are you voting against what you know is the right thing to do? Is the needs and the desires of a handful of you guys um, above the 300 plus million of the entire United States? I don't think so. Why didn't you vote the way you felt? makes no sense are you afraid of trump you should one should never be cautious of the truth let me say it again no one should be cautious of the truth no one because the truth is the ultimate thing that we all are looking for everybody wants the truth the truth may hurt sometimes but we all want the truth and Mitt Romney stuck with his convictions. He had the courage of his conviction, and he stuck with it. So, all those senators should have done like Spike Lee and did the right thing. It goes back to what my mother said when I was a child. You could pass legislation all day, but you cannot legislate someone's heart. And right now, Capitol Hill is full of the heart of corruption. It's full of the heart of corruption and it starts with Donald Trump. So, like I said, those senators should not be afraid of the president backlash and they should not be afraid of the constituents because if they know the truth, they should let us know what the truth was. So, I that's all I have for you guys today. Have the courage of conviction no matter how it feels no matter what's gonna happen no matter what the resistance no matter what the resistance is love you guys